Hello, it's week six of season six of the Andy Griffith Show. This week's episode title is A Warning from Warren. Marty, what's going on this week? Gooder comes in the door to shut, and he tells Andy and Floyd that Warren claims to have EST. And Floyd says he believes him. He says that Warren predicted yesterday that Otis would come by for shades. And Floyd says that came true. Even though he had to go get Otis from out on the sidewalk and bring him in and put him in the chair and then shave him. And Andy says, Floyd, I know Warren is your nephew, but he doesn't have ESP. And then Warren comes in and Andy asks him about it and Warren says, yes, I do have ESP. And Andy says, no, you don't. And Warren says, you're just being a skeptic. Here, I'll prove it to you. And he says there's a test in this magazine article that he has about EST. He's going to leave the door to shut, and then Andy and Floyd and Gouda are going to choose an object in the door to shut, and then Warren's going to come back in and identify what they chose. And so he leaves, and they take the magazine table, and he comes back in and he takes the mirror. And Andy says, wrong. And Warren says, right, because the title is showing in the mirror, and that was reflective thought wave EST. And then Helen and Andy plan to go on a picnic at Myers Lake for a few hours tomorrow, because Andy hasn't had any time off for a long time. And Andy tells Warren, you can watch things for a while, for a period of that short period of time while we're gone. And Helen notices Warren reading a book on EST. And he says, yeah, but I'm not going to discuss it anymore, because your boyfriend Andy doesn't think I have it. And then later in the diner, Warren tells Gouda that he has a vision. A man, a woman, blue, green, and danger. And Gouda says, let's just take it easy for a while and eat our supper instead. And then Warren says, no, it's gotten clear. We gotta go. And he takes Gouda with him before they've even finished eating. They rush to Andy's house and they yell at his front door and they get him out of bed. And then he hurts himself getting down at the front door so fast. And when he gets there, Warren says, You and Helen cannot go on this picnic. I just saw a, a vision of danger. And then he gets mad that they woke him up for this. And he throws them out. And the next day, Warren tries to convince Helen not to go on the picnic as she and Andy are getting ready. And Andy comes out and he runs them both off again. And Warren goes and makes a plan with Gouder and Floyd. He gets Floyd to call in a bank robbery threat, but Andy recognizes Floyd's voice. So they go to Plan D. They take the distributor cat out of the patrol car that Andy and Helen were going to use to get to Myers Lake. And Gilder says he can't get another one until tomorrow. So Andy and Helen just take Goober's truck instead. And at the picnic, Helen says she hears something in the bushes or in the woods. And Andy goes to look and he finds Goober and, and Warren spying on him. And Warren says you're in danger. He sees a vision of something shiny. And Andy runs them off again. But then later Andy sees them both up in a tree where they're spying on them. So he and Helen start to go out in a boat on the lake to get away from them. And Warren says that's it. The lake is shiny. And he starts pulling on Andy in the boat to get them to come back in. And he ends up tipping the boat over instead. And Andy and Helen fall in the water. And Andy says he thinks he sprained his wrist too. So Andy gets out of the water and throws Goober in the water. And while Warren starts saying, this is it. This was the danger. This was the shiny lake. Andy walks up on him and Warren realizes he'd better jump in the water too before Andy throws him in. And the next day the four then are eating together in the diner. And Goober wants a tradition from Warren about Goober's future with Lydia. And Warren says, no, no more predictions. It's just too much responsibility. And then Warren tries to help Andy with his steak because of Andy's strained wrist. And he just makes the steak fall in Andy's lap. We'll see you next week for episode seven.